Okay, I had a request to try to simplify this uh, flight simulator tutorial I did. Um, some people are able to get it to work and other people, uh, depending on skill levels, experience with 3D Studio or Unity, haven't been able to get through it. So I thought I'd do a real simple version on how to make something and uh, bring it into the Unity engine and just keep it super simple. So here's what I'll do. Um, I'm going to start with a box. And I'm just going to draw that box in uh, this viewport. And I'm drawing it with an idea in, as to what the front, top, and right sides are. Um, and let's just zoom in a little bit so we can see some of those. In fact, I think I'll go ahead and go to Smooth Faces with Edges by um, changing all these edged faces. Let's go to Smooth Highlights. Plus edged faces, and I'm just right clicking the name of the viewport, smooth with highlights with edge faces. Okay, and this will help you to see the best way to get stuff into the Unity engine from 3D Studio. So we're in 3D Studio right now, and uh, um, one of the first thing I'm just going to do is select this object, this box, and just check the size of it by going to my modify panel, and I want it to be quite a bit bigger than that. It's not really so important how big it is, but let's let's make it about 200 meet, um, units long or so, and something like that. Okay, and we'll just zoom out a little bit and see what we've got. Okay, so this is my top view on the upper left. This is my front view, upper right, and my left view on the side here. So now let's break this thing into different number of segments. Now um, I'm going to change my box color. See that? I'm going to go over here. I'm going to make it a lighter color so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. And I'm going to change my link segments. And that didn't show here. I want to turn on edged faces. So I'm right clicking on perspective and going to edged faces. And I want that to be, let's say, three that way three that way, and two that way. Okay, and I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna keep it real simple. So, I'm gonna turn this into an editable poly now. I'm gonna right click it, convert to editable poly. Now I'm gonna make a few changes on the vertices so we can tell what the front and the back are. And let me just do the, show something. If I click on this side, I can see that's the front, okay? And uh, I can see that this is the top if I click on those faces. So again, this will be my front. So let's do a little modeling on the front here. So I'm going to click that vertex and use my control key or my command key if you're on a Mac and move those down a little bit. In fact, I should get all those. And um, I'll bring these in a little bit. Now I'm going to turn on ignore back facing for a moment. And just grab all these vertices and all these vertices and use my scale button and grab that axis and just scale those together. And uh, it's not too bad. And then I'll pick this polygon on the top and bevel it up. I don't want you to see that, so I'll move this out of the way. And that's like the cockpit. And let's do one or two more things. Let's grab these two vertices and move those up. And that's, you know, that's not too bad for it looks like some kind of a ship, right? I'm going to click on this, these uh, vertices here and turn them off. So I'm no longer in sub object mode. And I'm going to change my view. So I've, I'm not rotating this. I'm just changing the view, rotating the view by hitting this little button on the right. And I can still see that this is the that's the front, this is the back, and this is the top. Now, in Unity, I think in one of my previous demos, I rotated this entire object up, and then I did a uh, XYZ um, X form on it. I did an X form uh, process on it. And you can see that if you want another time, but there's a better way to do that. Uh, I saw it in someone else's tutorial, by the way. So I'm going to go to hierarchy and effect pivot only 
and use my rotate button while my angle snap toggle is turned on. And you can see when I do this that if, if red, green, blue means X, Y, and Z, then this, is, this red is X, um, green is Y, and Z is blue. But in Unity, Unity wants Y to be up. So what I'm going to do is just rotate this by grabbing this little axis here. Rotate this until it says 90 degrees right up here. See where that number is? So that's going to be 90 degrees. So what I did was I rotated my um, pivot so that it's 90 degrees more around, uh, around the X. See the X, this little red thing, is kind of the axis I'm rotating about. But I'm actually making the Y go straight up. Okay? So the Y is pointing to the top of my car, or my vehicle. And now I'm going to turn off Effect Pivot Only. It's always good to turn that off as soon as you're done using that. Okay? And with this one, again, I want to keep it real simple. I'm not even going to apply a material to it. I'm just going to let it be what it is. And I'm going to go to File, Export, and I'm going to export an FBX. You'll have to go in and pick Autodesk FBX. My FBX, we're going to save this FBX out as uh, um, Vehicle, let's see, Simple Jet. I'm going to do Y up again. I already did this once just to test it. Y up 2. Okay. And we'll save it. And let me fit all this in there if I can. All you need to check is geometry. You can leave this defaulted. You can leave these checked. Um, that won't matter. Uh, and the version I'm exporting to is FBX 2006.11. But it'll be different for each of you depending on which one version of Mac you're using and with which FBX um, plugin you use. And then I'll just hit OK. And I'm done. That's it. Now we'll go to Unity. And uh, now I'm going to have to move this over. So uh, squeeze this down so you can see it. Um, if I go to where I'm putting my stuff, right here it is. Uh, that's the one. Control C, back to Unity. I'm going to go into where I have my actual Unity project installed. I'm going to go to. Um, that's the project I'm using. It's called Flying Box 3. And it's got an asset, assets folder. And I'll just paste that in here. And there it is. And now when I go back into Unity, it'll show up somewhere in here. Simple Jet. Let's see which one it is. Simple Jet Y up 2. That's the one. Okay, so now I'm. Uh, Looking in Unity here, and I've already done this once, so I'll, I'll do it again. Um, I can take this camera off of here. I don't need that camera. I can get rid of the my little test jet there. Delete that. I'm going to take this one now and drop it into the scene. I think I like to drop it in from the top better. and drag it and drop it and I'm looking for where the camera is too. In fact, I'm going to take the camera and drop it on top of simple jet Y up. And you can always get your cameras from right up here. Game object, create other camera. But you should have a default camera, I think, if I remember right. So there's my camera and that's my jet. Let's move the jet a little closer. Actually, let's move the camera. And I'll go into a side view so I can see this better. And there's the camera, there's the jet. We got some stuff in the way. Oh, let's move the jet up. I see. Move the camera down. There we go, a little bit of zooming in and out to find it. 
and uh, get that camera over there a little bit better. And let's go to a top view and line that up a little bit better. There we go. Now we can see the camera's view. And I'm not going to worry about making this really pretty, just so that it works. So we'll go to the jet again. And I'm going to look for my flight script. Actually, before I do the flight script, let's go to Component, Physics, Rigid Body. And we've added Rigid Body, Component, Physics, Mesh Collider. So that's done. And there's our Rigid Body. Let's change the drag to 0.5. Let's change um, the mesh collider to convex. And we've still got simple jet Y up to selected. So let's take a flight sim and just drag it and drop it right on there. And let's hit play and use our keys. And now you can see we're flying. And again, oh, whoa. No, that's good. That's right. It looked a little bit backwards for a second there. But it's just because it's such a basic model it's hard to uh, really visualize it well, but it works. So it's as simple as that to bring the model in from Max to Unity. Now if we want the texture, we've got to do a little bit of extra work. We've got to make sure the texture um, image comes in. And we don't have collision working yet, but collision is shown in one of the other tutorials. So no need to go into all those details right now. Just wanted to keep this nice and simple for people who uh, got stuck on how to import and get the thing to fly. Hope that helps.